Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the I slash O error you might be receiving in image burn when trying to burn and create DVDs and CDs. So pretty straightforward tutorial and I hope that this tutorial will help you guys out. So we're going to jump into it by opening up the application itself. So once image burn is open, you want to navigate over to the tools button, the top tab, left click on it, and then left click on the settings at the bottom of this menu. Now you want to left click on the right tab. Now you want to uncheck this box, this is perform OPC before write. So you want to set the options over here underneath layer break. You want to say user specified. And for sectors in L0, you want to type in 1913760. So 1913760. Once you're done doing that, you want to go up to the I slash O tab at the top. You want to navigate to page 2, so click on the page 2 tab, the mini tab right here. You want to move the buffer size right here. You want to move it to 72. You underneath main, you want to set that to 25. Underneath device, you want to set that to 50. And then you want to press OK at the bottom here. Now you want to left click on where it says write image file to disk. Now underneath write speed at the bottom, you click on this little drop down arrow. You want to make sure it's either set to 2x or 2.4x or 2.4 times, however you want to pronounce it, one or the other. Now you want to left click on this little icon, it looks like a little mini gear. This will open up advanced settings. Left click on the light on tab near the middle. So left click on that. Underneath change for, click on this box here. Select smart burn. Then click on OK at the bottom. And then at this point you can close out of image burn or reopen it and then you should be able to burn your disk as you normally should have been able to. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.